Judges chapter 7 verses 1 to 24. Then Jerubal, who is Gideon, and all the people that were with him, rose up early and pitched beside the well of Harod, so that the host of the Midianites were on the north side of them by the hill of Moray in the valley. And the Lord said to Gideon, The people that are with you are too many for me to give to the Midianites into their hands, lest Israel vaunt themselves against me, saying, Mine own hand has saved me. Now therefore go, proclaim to the ears of the people, saying, Whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him return and depart early from Mount Gilead. And there returned of the people twenty and two thousand, and there remained ten thousand. And the Lord said to Gideon, The people are too many. Bring them down to the water, and I will try them there for you. And it shall be that of whom I say to you, this shall go with you, the same shall go with you. And of whomsoever I say to you, this shall not go with you, the same shall not go. So he brought down the people to the water, and the Lord said to Gideon, Everyone that laps of the water with his tongue as a dog laps, him shall you set by himself. Likewise, everyone that bows down upon his knees to drink. And the number of them that lapped, putting their hand to their mouth, were three hundred men, but all the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to drink. And the Lord said to Gideon, By the three hundred men that lapped will I save you, and deliver the Midianites into your hand, and let all the other people go every man to his place. So the people took victuals in their hand and their trumpets, and he sent all the rest of Israel, every man to his tent, and retained those three hundred men, and the host of Midian was beneath them in the valley. And it came to pass the same night that the Lord said to him, Arise, get down to the host, for I have delivered them into your hand. But if you fear to go down, go with Phura, your servant, down to the host, and you shall hear what they say. And afterward shall your hands be strengthened to go down to the host. Then went he down with Phura the servant to the outside of the armed men that were in the host. And the Midianites and the Amalekites and all the children of the east lay along the valley like grasshoppers for multitude. And their camels were without number as the sand by the sea for multitude. And when Gideon was come, Behold, there was a man that told a dream to his fellow, and said, Behold, I dreamed a dream, and lo, a cake of barley bread tumbled into the host of Midian, and came to a tent, and smote it, that it fell, and overturned it, that the tent lay along. And his fellow answered and said, This is nothing save the sword of Gideon, the sword of Joash, and a man of Israel, for into his hand has God delivered Midian and all the host. And it was so, when Gideon heard the telling of the dream and the interpretation thereof, that he worshipped and turned into the host of Israel and said, Arise, for the Lord has delivered into your hand the host of Midian. And he divided the three hundred men into three companies, and he put a trumpet in every man's hand, with empty pitchers and lamps within the pitchers. And he said to them, Look at me and do likewise, and behold, when I come to the outside of the camp, it shall be that, as I do, so shall you do. When I blow with the trumpet, I and all that are with me, then blow you the trumpets also on every side of all the camp, and say, The sword of the Lord and of Gideon. So Gideon and the three hundred that were with him came to the outside of the camp in the beginning of the middle watch. And they had but newly set the watch, and they blew the trumpets and brake the pitchers that were in their hands. And the three companies blew the trumpets and brake their pitchers and held the lamps in their left hands and the trumpets in their right hands to blow withal. And they cried, The sword of the Lord and of Gideon. And they stood every man in his place around the camp, and all the host ran and cried and fled. 
and the three hundred blew their trumpets, and the Lord set every man sword against his fellow, even throughout all the host, and the host fled to Bethshatai in Zerath, and to the border of Abimola, to Tabith. And the men of Israel gathered themselves together out of Naphtali, and out of Asher, and out of all Manasseh, and pursued after the Midianites. And Gideon sent messengers throughout all Mount Ephraim, saying, Come down against the Midianites, and take them before the waters to Bethbara and Jordan. Then all the men of Ephraim gathered themselves together, and took the waters to Bethbara and Jordan. Amen.